Welcome to another coding tutorial and in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can change an image from this to this. First, we're going to upload the image into our sketch and you can come here and create a new folder. Let's name it images and we will want to upload a file, which is the image that we want. And once the file is uploaded, now we're going to come back to our sketch. What we want to do next is that we want to first create a variable for where the image is going to be. So I'm going to name it IMG. And then we can use a function called preload. And preload is a function where it's going to be preloading the image into the sketch. And then what we have to do is that we just set the IMG variable to a function called load image. And an argument that we're going to put into load image is going to be where the file is, which it is in the folder called images. And then you put backslash and then you put the name of the file, which is in my case, Mona Lisa. And then don't forget the ending, right? For mine, it's JPEG. Then after that, you can come to the draw function and then you can use the function called image. Right now, I just want to test that the image is uploaded properly. The image function takes in at least three arguments. The first one is the image itself, the file, and then the second and the third one are the X and Y coordinate of the top left corner of where you want to place the image. And I want to place my image at the top left corner of my canvas. As you can see here, the Mona Lisa image is much larger than my canvas, right? What I want to do now is that I want to resize it. And what you can do is that you can put the name of the file dot resize. And I'm going to put in two arguments. I'm going to resize the width so that it fits my canvas, which is 400. But I'm going to put the second argument as zero. And zero means that I'm not trying to resize the height, but I want the height to be resized according to the ratio of 400 as the width. So. There you go. So now we have a relatively good sized image on our canvas, but that's not what we want. What we want to do is that we want to cut up our image or our canvas into a set number of rows and columns based on how pixelated we want the image to be. Let's first define rows and columns variables and also a size variable. What if I set it to one? So let me show you. So let's do columns is equals to width divided by size and rows, which is height divided by size, which now we're basically going to have a total of 400 columns and 500 rows, which is the same number as the number of pixels on our canvas. How we're going to approach this is that we're going to use this function called get and get basically extracts a color value of that specific pixel from an image. What we need to do is that we need to provide the pixel location into the get function. I'm going to write a nested for loop of the size columns and rows that we have set, right? Which is basically the number of pixels that we have on the image. And then I'm going to create a variable called C and C is going to be getting the color value of that specific pixel on the image of I and J, right? And then I'm going to use that as my stroke color, C, and then I'm going to draw a point at location I and J. And then before I click play, I am going to comment out the image because we don't want to draw the image anymore. We're going to draw it using points. Then I'm going to click run. The color is slightly lighter, and that is because when you draw points, it's not as dense as when you display the whole image. And also right now, the background that we have is of the color 220, which is a lighter gray. So let's say like if we were to change this to zero, because it's running in draw, it is actually is very intense right now. Uh, because it's basically drawing every single point 60 times per second. Okay, so I'm going to stop it for right now. That's not what we want to do. This is not efficient. If we want to display an image, we should just use this image function. But this is just to give you a sense of how we're going to approach this. So let's change the size to, let's do 10. But now, 
we don't want to draw a point. What we want to draw is that we want to draw a rectangle. And a rec function takes in a total of four arguments. The first two are the x and y coordinates of the top left corner of that rectangle. So we need to do i is times size, and then j times size, and then let's do the size as is, which is 10. And then let's click play. And then we need to change from stroke to fill. Right now it's all green, and that's because the color value that we're extracting is off basically from i equals to 0 to i equals to 9, right? Because the size is 9. So it's at the top left corner. So we need to multiply this by size and then this by size as well. This is pretty good. What we want to do next is that if you remember the original image, you can see that the size of each of the squares are also different. So I'm going to create a new 2D array. I'm going to name that sizes. And then I'm going to create a 2D array within the setup function. If you're not familiar with this process, I have a ton of tutorials on 2D arrays and things like that. So I'm going to link that down below. You can check that out. And then let's initialize sizes as zero for now. What we want is that we want to calculate the size of each of these pixels based on the brightness of each of the values within that grid. We can do that by using the brightness function. And the brightness function returns the brightness value of that specific color within that grid. And it ranges between zero and 100. So because the brightness function returns a value between 0 and 100, we also want to map that value to whatever the range that we want. We're going to put the brightness values inside the sizes to the array at i and j location. And as I said, the brightness function returns the value between 0 and 100. What we need to do is that we need to use a map function. And we're mapping the values that are returned. So brightness of a variable c, which is this variable here that goes between 0 and 100. And we want to map it. Let's map it first between 0 and size. Let's try this. And then we now have to change the size here to be the value in size our sizes to the array. Nice. Let's do. Also, no stroke. Okay, so that's actually pretty cool in itself. But if you just want to have it the same way that I did before, what I did is that I made my background to be white. And instead of mapping from zero to size, I actually did it the other way around. And I did it size times two. So it actually is bigger than the size of the cell right and then i map it to zero so the darker the brightness the bigger the square and also i need to make sure that this looks cool too um, but i also set my rect mode to be center so the first two argument underneath the rect function is actually the center of the square or the rectangle and then you need to make sure that you offset it by size divided by two and there you go. I think there's so much that you can do with this, but it gives you an idea of how you can extract a color value within an image and then just play around to create a pretty neat result like this one. Give it a try.